Hello and welcome back to Stalker Escape from Pripyat. We are in bar right now. I'm going to be walking to um, Army Warehouse. The reason we're walking is because there is a mission to do on the way there. Um, I've pretty much checked all of, of all of the local boxes. We have a new friend. Say hello. I don't know. I, again, if I was like a, a good YouTuber, I'd like give him a name and then remember that name, Charlie or something. I don't know. And then and then when he dies, I'd be like, oh no, Charlie, oh no. And then you know. But uh, you know, quality varies around here. That is uh quite the look. Oh, I see. That is like gray hair. Weird. So, like I say, we're gonna go. We're gonna head north to Army Warehouse. I'm, uh, I, you know, things are, are getting very, um, you know, we're heading into the late game. I think as soon as I have an exoskeleton, give me a second here. God damn it! Really? Okay, as soon as I have an exoskeleton, then um, I'll feel confident enough to take on pretty much, you know, anything and everything. We're already taking on like three burrs at one time and chimeras and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, um, I, there's always room for improvement. You know, we're in the late stretches of uh, what kind of technology I have. I have, you know, the best detector by the way i didn't even look at this detector last time but it is really cool um it actually displays the um it, it just displays anomalies which is really nice you can check that out that's really cool i i can see that it actually works you know like my previous uh you know when, uh, while i was using the bear detector it it was a lot of guesswork i'm like is it actually working is it actually doing anything because it didn't really feel like it was Nothing useful here. Okay. I wonder if those were the mutants I had to kill. Yeah, it does look like that, actually. Uh, we may as well hand those in now. And then I could just fast travel to army. Um, I guess uh, the stash is actually closer to the entrance. But, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fast travel. Uh-oh. Uh, that would be an omission Happening fairly soon Would like to get to where I have to hand in the quest Before the omission happens so that I, I can hand it in and then I'll do a pause Because you know this happens Okay, here we go. We're good Hello friend. I have I have done what you've asked me to do. It's another nine thousand in the bank. How I think I, I did spend quite a bit of money, but I don't know where we're at. Is there any work you want done? Boar Fang? No. Okay. I, I kind of took uh, a lot of his missions. Including uh, I believe I took on he wants a sponge artifact, which we do have. It is worth holding on to artifacts, um, because if people ask for them. They'll give you more than just the, you know, the value of the artifact. Do you have any more parts for us? I, I, I have been doing, as I've said, and buying up any, um, anything that I can disassemble into, you know, parts. Doesn't really look like it. We're up to 130,000. That's, it's looking pretty good. Um, we can sell our dog parts i guess oh yeah we have burr skin ah uh, in terms of the burrs by the way that whispering was really annoying i couldn't basically get rid of it until i left the area and uh so i just you know decided to leave the area we've got a couple of things we could do in the dark valley i don't really want to do any of that polluted lake salt uh south i do eventually want to come back and do this military thing but not not for a while so let me just fast travel to Freedom Base. It's actually, you know, even better to do it now 
um, if there's an emission coming because we're when you fast travel you're not really affected by emissions I know it's kind of cheaty but I don't really care because it really saves us a bunch of time and it saves you some time as well because like otherwise we'd just be like sitting around and I'd have to pause and uh, you know it, it's not really gonna contribute much to our experience okay it is night time I wonder if I can look at my artifact finder with this thing. Nope, it's too bright. I, oof. Hold on. Um, so we, we are handing in a, a, a box. Let's just put on our, our light, flashlight. We're handing in a box to Skinflint. Actually, can I um, cook anything? I am missing fuel. I don't have any fuel for cooking food. And we, uh, my meat keeps spoiling. I keep, like, you know, having to drop our good food because I don't have any fuel for, for cooking. Um, I could just go to a fireplace, but then I can't purify, and I'd rather purify the food. If I can't pure the fi purify this, the food, I'd rather just not have it, to be honest. You know, we're, in a, we're at the point of the game where I could just buy food. Um, it would be a wear on our resources, but, you know, we could do it. But yeah, uh, I wanted to go through like maybe a small checklist of what I want, what kind of gear I want before I like, you know, make a push for the for the end game. Deliver locked case to skin flint. Any work you want done, you want rot rodent meat. I thought you said rotten meat for a second there. You want bandages. That's tempting. I, I think I have eight bandages on me. Oops, wrong button. Um, I do. I don't like giving up bandages, but um, especially since you're probably not going to give me what they're really worth. Um, fine. Job is done. Here you go. 3,000. Yeah, like that's not worth it. I, you know what? I'm loading that. I, 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 don't, I don't, I'm not going to give up eight bandages for 3,000. I don't even think that's what they're worth. I don't even think that's what I would get if I sold them. It's certainly not how much I would have to pay if I bought eight bandages. I would probably have to pay up to 5,000 or something insane like that. All right. So um, what do you have to sell? Do you have anything I can disassemble? Do we need any bandages? We're good for FX. We're good for cars. Um, you do not have any components. Shucks. You've got a grenade. I could probably do with a new, uh, a nice fresh grenade. Um, I definitely want to replace our armor. I don't, you know, like I want to get a exoskeleton. That's going to be expensive and I'm not even sure how to go about that. I might have to do a little bit of research. Um, we're going to sleep because I don't want to explore this zone during the night time. It's dangerous enough without having to deal with things at night that's uh, not not really ideal. Actually, let's um let me real quick check out this guy. This guy over here might have some components. Yeah, so I I let's I'm going to go through a checklist real very soon here. I just want to um check these guys. This guy this guy has a weapon, garbage, roadside post, bandit military. Uh neutralization, forget that. Eliminate dangerous mutants in truck cemetery. Sure. I'll eventually make my way to truck cemetery. You want basic tools. I'm not going to do that. Uh, you don't really... I mean, you have lock picks. Oh, there are 8,000 here. A bundle of lock picks at uh, farm is about 6,000. Which is quite nice. What about you? Do you have anything? Oops, never mind. Uh, work. Push back the monolith incursion. Sure. Uh, any other work you want done? No. Okay. Do you have anything you want to sell? Not really. Okay. This uh, prototype detector does have to go to Yantar. We'll probably do that today. But let's sleep. So yeah, the checklist is as follows. Um, I want to have an exoskeleton suit and I want to have a new helmet, a better helmet. This one's nice, but I'd like to have a better one if, if such a thing is uh, possible. Um, I would definitely like to have a uh, the maximum improved night vision. Not that that's a big deal. It's not. 
and then like the thing is is that there's a lot of ways to improve the exoskeleton suit like um you know i want to get those reactors which means we're gonna have to find the recipes for those um and i'll probably want to have a, a quite a few more uh, artifacts i definitely want to have uh maybe upgrade one of the guns that i've been sitting on and uh you know have have a really decent gun for the end game i like what we've got but i think we can do better and so i you know i don't know I, I don't know what is better, you know, like I, I, I compare a lot of weapons and it's hard to tell what is better What is good? What is better? It's hard to tell um, A lot of guns seem to compare with the ones I'm using in terms of damage. They don't seem to do anything more uh, You want a drug making kit? Didn't I already give that to you? I swear to God I, I gave you a drug making kit Did you lose it? Oh, I should have sold those these components. I'm carrying around quite a lot of extra weight in terms of, you know. Do you guys uh, have any work? No. Uh, boar chop. Nah. I still need to buy fuel. I don't know why I didn't check for that. Okay, we'll we'll sleep until morning. We'll eat some food. We'll go and get the stash. We'll do some stuff here in the army warehouses. Maybe we'll shoot a couple of monolith. We'll, we'll see some new guns. Yeah, I don't like carrying all of this stuff. I'm gonna have to make another... Um, check, check the local stores to see if they've got any fuel. I don't like... I don't like uh, roaming around without the ability to cook what I find. Have you got a secret for us? Might just save your life. You need some help? We're being ambushed by a bloodsucker in the Great Swamp. Sucks. Sucks, dude. Okay. Just fueling up. And I'm gonna have one more quick look to see if I can buy some fuel. I have, an uns I have unspent trait points. Wow. Um, could do bullet hoarder, butcher. Take 25% less damage from controller psi attacks. Tempting. Lock difficulty on loot boxes is reduced by 10%. Um, predator. Killing stalkers and mutants reduces bleeding up to 5% over 10 seconds. Increases your carry weight by four kilograms. Uh, excuse me? Really? Bandit in the base. Just kind of casually wandering around, huh? What is happening? Ouch! You better not loot that. You asshole. This one's mine. That's uh, this this one's mine. You, you don't don't even bother. Okay. Um, I think the other one's probably stripped. Okay, so apparently this place is being attacked by bandits. Um, might have to use... I might use one of my serves. Just... just to not be damaged. Actually, that's a... I think this is a good opportunity for a serve. Also, let's turn our light off.
рассказать, чего хочешь, что ли? Hey, we're good. It's a friend. All right, bud. Uh, oh, you, you're the guy that leads people. Sorry, this is taking way longer than I intended. Do you have any fuel? You don't have fuel. No one here has fuel for cooking stuff. I've been like trying to buy it off of every NPC and no one has had freaking fuel. This is, this is kind of frustrating. All right, well, um, I could buy some stuff repairing our, our suit. This costs 12,000, that's not too bad. Um, I think I have something for my helmet back at home. But the problem is, is if I buy this, it's five kilograms and then I'm, you know, carrying the rest of it. I'm not a huge fan of that. Uh, I hate to say it, but I might just make a quick trip back to farm. All right, you know what? Let's, let's get out of here. I'm gonna head, I'm gonna head out of here. We're gonna get that stupid stash and try and complete some of the quests here. The, the reason I'm here, you know? And, um... We're just gonna forget about all of the rest of this noise. We're gonna, we have to go west, masher anomaly. I wonder if there's any good stuff here. I don't know how to leave this compound. Looks like I have to leave through the north exit. At least our energy is good and our like I don't know. I, I might look at our traits while I'm moving here. I'm I'm tempted on strong back. I swear to god. I just wanna leave. I just wanna get the stupid stash. Why 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 am I being made to fight an army? Please die. Yo, our freaking freedom. Can you clean up your gosh darn warehouse? Like, this place is littered with bandits and you guys are not doing your job. <laughs> Damn. I'm wondering if this, if this guy would join us. Let's explore as a team. Sure, sounds good. Nice. You, you, you don't need to point your gun at me. Any work you want done? No, okay. Okay, so we have two friends again. That's nice. Um, And we're heading in the right direction. So let's... uh. I'll be doing periodic checks to say see, see if these guys are okay. That one's probably freedom over there. I think we're on good terms with freedom. I'm a little bit wary of this place because there are actually quite nasty creatures in this area. I have uh you know encountered burrs, I'm pretty sure, and chimeras. And then there's whatever that is. Yeah. Probably gonna have to run through that. 
these stashes are generally um you know difficult oh no never mind it's in the completely wrong direction it's south of here so one thing i like about the new pda is it um our mini map now shows unlooted dead bodies which is really nice This is a, that was actually a feature that I, like, specifically requested. Like, I, I was, I, I wanted something like that. So, I'm, I'm really glad that, um, that's a feature and you have to pay for it, unfortunately, but it doesn't matter. There is a one, one PDA better than the one we've currently got. Oh, look at that drug making kit. And what is this? Notebook. Thick bundle of old papers from uh, some administration building. And then this is a salamander stalker suit. Seems nice. It's got some good protection when it's fully repaired. Not. I like the ballistic though. I need. I, I want ballistic resistance because that's um. You know when you're in a firefight, you you want that. Um. Tempting to take it anyway though because it does have some really nice. It's actually fairly good condition. So that's that. Um, then we have unknown enemy over there. And also push back the monolith incursion. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're headed uh, northeast from here. That's a unusual thing to find. Honestly hoping to find some monolith. Yo, we're uh place is getting foggy. Got quite the firefight going on. Unfortunately, nothing is it Oof. None of it is in the direction that we're moving in. Those are zombies for sure. I, I, you know, I would like to go out of my way to kill some zombies, but I don't know how bad the threat is that we're about to face. We have an unknown enemy. And we also have some monolith up here. And all of that seems kind of spooky to me. I know I have unspent skill points. I don't know what to spend them on, to be honest. Just gonna sit on it for the time being. That is, I think that's a lurker or a chimera. That's a chimera for sure. Whoopsie daisy. You guys can tag in whenever you want. Damn. Okay. Good stuff. I better find fuel before this chimera meat goes bad. Where are you guys going? That's not the direction we're going in. Yo, that wasn't even the unknown threat. That was just a freaking chimera hanging out. Um, just gotta make sure our magazines are full. We are kind of running out of this, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm down to a, a hundred bullets of the 762-39. Which I know, you know, like, oh, oh my god, you know. Fog is getting thicker, or thicker, I can't, uh, see shit. I'm a little bit worried about this unknown enemy. Could really be anything. I don't know. Like, does it mean, does unknown enemy mean that I've never seen anything like it before? Uh. Well, we've got an enemy there.
Not sure if that was the lad that we had to kill. Mission updated, push back the monolith incursion. Really? Just that one guy? That was really it, huh? Wow, dude. They really have me out here killing one dude. So you might see it on the minimap. You might not. It's very hard to see. But there's a tiny, tiny blue dot on the minimap. You won't even be able to see it now because I'm, I'm standing on top of it. Uh, we have a Taz. A burr hand. This is garbage. Yo, this is actual trash. W what are you doing, Monolith? I thought you guys uh, had the decency to equip your, your dudes. We got a nice trigger. Okay, we'll grab that trigger mechanism and the ammo. And we have a good recoil spring. Grab that. Okay. Well, that was kind of disappointing, I won't lie. We do have a exit here to the radar. Um, don't really want to do that yet. That's not what this episode is about, for sure. Um, then there's the dead city. I don't have the means to get there from here. I have to figure, like, I have to buy that route, unfortunately. There's some stuff to hand in in Yantar. Let's just, we'll, we'll, we're going to walk back to the army warehouse. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that. Like, there could be some cool stuff on the way back, but I, I like, I just want to hand in this quest. And then, um, I kind of want to head to Yantar. In order to uh, hand in that, that mission. And then I don't know what. Um, I might uh, do an extra trip to the farm with a pause just to like drop off all of our extra crap and also um, repair my gear a little bit because my I don't like my suit. I don't like anything dropping below 60% and it's already there basically. So I'm really not happy about that. Um, that being said, it's probably just one uh, suit upgrade. Job is done. 13,000. Very nice. Item received. Dvyoka. Uh, Dvyoka gun oil and cleaning solvent. Nice. Any other work you want done? No. Got anything to sell? Nope. Okay. Um, so that's a nice chunk of change. There's nothing left here in the army warehouse. So there's this kill the stalker. I guess I already... I guess they died from natural causes. I, I'm not going to hand that in. I'm not going to go back there for like one mission. So we're going to head back to um, the, the science lab in Yantar. Hand in a mission. Uh, and then like here's here's what I'm thinking. Wait, what? What happened? Did I... I'm not... I'm not in Yantar, actually. I guess maybe it's like if I move, then it doesn't do it. Weird. It still didn't do it. What, what is going on here? N new bugs this late? It's, it's just like straight up not doing it. Okay. Well, um, that's really annoying. Um, let's, let's go there from Merc campsite. I mean, that's, that's a really dangerous thing there. Like, I, I could go to Merc campsite. But there's a good chance that there'll be, like, horrible things waiting for me there. Cool. Um, so it's just not working. And then it's, it's also draining my, my hunger meter. So that's really nice. Really appreciate this new bug this late in the game. Um, all right, so I guess I'm just gonna walk to Rostock and then try and fast travel from there because that is how I'm gonna try and deal with the situation. I could also, what I might do is I'm gonna load and see if loading and then trying fast travel will work. And I'll do a pause here as well. All right, I managed, oh, oh. God damn. 
I managed to um, salvage the situation. Loading in and then trying again worked. So um, that's good. Do we have any food? We have uh, a snossage. So we've got a stash nearby. Um, we're still hungry. Do I have any more food? I've got some Altoids. I've got this here, canned tomatoes. Just go ahead and eat a can a can of tomatoes. Have you ever done that in real life? Listen, I mean, I, I just eat peanut butter from the jar, so who am I to judge? Hey, my dude. How are you doing? Do you, uh... Do you have some money for me? This guy uh, is probably who we're going to buy our suit from, our next, like, outfit. Um, all right. Uh, any work you have done, you need done? Cat claws. You need some, something obtained in cordon, sure. New stash coordinates. Job is done, apparently. Okay. I guess I had something on me that it counted as the quest item. Any work you want done? Uh, Chimera Claw, I think I've already got that, so yeah, job is done. 2,000, nice. Anything else? Controller Brain Tissue. I might actually have that on me. Let me have a quick look. I might have it on me, but I don't know if that's what, something I want to give up. Pseudo Giant Hide, Beacon Chimera Hide, Sisucker Skin. Con so, uh, no, Controller Hide is like the only thing I don't have on me. Which sucks, but that's fine. Um, target Bloodsucker Jaw. You want a black spray artifact. I'm, I'm not going to get that. No. All right, we're good. So what kind of goods do you have for me? Do you have new um, recipes? Chemical recipe? I'm pretty sure I've already got chemical one. Yeah, I got chemical one. Fire one. Gravy recipe. I don't think I have gravy. No, I do have gravity. Okay. But you do have applications of artifacts on small arms, which is something I didn't have before. So we'll definitely grab that. He's he's getting um, increasingly more stuff because I've, I've been doing missions for him. I'm pretty sure that is how it works. Um, so we're going to buy that guide. This is probably how we're eventually going to get the guide that tells us how to uh, make those reactors. Um... I might buy some of your bandages. Do I need bandages? I could always probably use some more bandages. We don't need no stinking bandages. All right. Buy all of that. Good. And we're good. Um, we don't need anything else. I could sell him drug making toolkit, but I'm pretty sure I can get a good price for that. I'll sell him some burr hands. He seems to like those. Like, he gives me a good price for those. Um, okay, let's have a quick look at this ammunition guide. So this uh, tells us... Did I already read this one? It didn't really give us any... Like, it didn't give us any indication that it was something new. These are volatile artifact fragments. I don't know where to get these from. So that's something I'm going to have to figure out. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have any fuel, would you? It just occurred to me that I still need fuel. I still need fuel. He doesn't have any. My God. Okay, these guys won't sell it to me. Um, let's try the engineer outside. I can't believe this. Like, no one has a freaking charcoal briquette, whatever, on them. Um, alright, please sell me. No, you just sell me components. He'll probably buy my components. Yeah, he will. I don't know if I want to sell any of these. I'll sell the, the crap. Just to get, get it off of me. Um, oh, these are both not great. That's not good. That's not good. Uh, 
So we'll, um, we'll go and uh, grab that stash, and then I'm probably going to make a pit stop at the farm. Drop off our extra stuff. We can donate that. That's fine. I know all of this seems like excessive, but it is worth it. I, I keep saying it, but like when I finally find a gun that I want to, I, I might actually want to use. It's so satisfying just like slapping it on my uh, my workbench and then like hitting the repair button, and I just have like all of the components I need to fully repair it, and I don't have to I don't have to worry like there's no bottleneck there's nothing I don't have to wait. I don't, I don't have to buy anything from anyone. Um, you know, it's, it's just like all done. Um, it's a, it's a great feeling. I love it. Uh, I'll buy your sewing kits. I, I kind of need more of those. I've been slacking on those, those sewing kits. Well, we still don't have any like fuel. So I, I don't know. Let's go get that stash and then I'm going to make it stop at uh, the farm there is something to do in cordon how much money are we got now it's 160 thousand we're getting up there i um i was gonna say i think that around 200 thousand i might make a move to buy our next armor kit well, that head on the ground is a nice bit of decor there is our there's the stash We've got suit environmental pr pr protection upgrade kit. That's good. We've got a ramrod. That's fine. This is all fine. There's a couple of components here, which is nice. And is there anything else to do here? It doesn't look like it. So there is a kill the kill the stalker mission in garbage, but I don't really want to go to garbage. Ooh, there's a right. This is a quest stash. All right, so let's let's go to farm. Um, I'm actually gonna keep uh, I'm gonna keep this in the video because there might be bandits there and, and we can complete a couple things. But as soon as I start doing any inventory management, we're 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 pausing. Okay, yep, that looks like a bandit. No, it's not. My God, for once this place has actually got like clear sky in it. You guys need anything done? All right, so let's see. Um, the first thing I need to buy is fuel. Can, can you please sell me a charcoal? Uh, a, a, a biscuit of charcoal, please? Okay, um, you have kerosene. It's not really what I have in mind, but I will buy it if there's literally nothing else. Jesus. Really? I probably have some fuel in my my bin. But um, I'm gonna I'm gonna absolutely prioritize prioritize this because the chimera meat I, I've looked at this before each each of these purified meats has different effects If I ever do a tutorial series on this game, I, I have lots to share but like if you look at this the effects of um, Purified chimera meat plus 15 kilograms stamina re recovery great satiation level like Purified Chimera meat is just amazing. It's one of the best benefits of killing Chimeras, obviously. There's many benefits to uh, killing Chimeras. In fact, all, all of the things you get from a Chimera are good. And in fact, you can you, you can even make a Chimera elixir. I call it like an Apex drink or something. I don't care. Um, but you know, like it's, it's, it's great. Um, chimera is wonderful. So I'm going to do a bit of cooking now that I have some fuel. And... Um, I'm going to do a bit of maintenance on our uh, armor and stuff like that, but uh, I'll, I'll see you real soon. Okay, so I have um, done a lot of consolidating. I've uh, actually, I broke down all, a lot of the Kevlar and stuff that we had, um, be, you know, the, the components that make up your armor and helmets and stuff so I could actually um, start crafting the components, which is a little bit easier in some ways and more cumbersome in other ways to, for repairing your gear. But anyway, we're back to, we're back to good, you know, we're back to scratch. Um, we've got, we've got all of our gear, um, fully repaired, which is what we want. Um, did buy a couple things. I tried to, I wanted to make the next headlamp, but I'm short two capacitors. So I'm going to have to continue buying radios and stuff like that. Um, I th think, okay, so we've got our stash north of here. 
we could we could do that i mean it's not that far you know we've we could we could do that even though it is nighttime and raining and spooky but it's fine we'll do that um <laughs> i also i have my sponge artifact on me uh so i can sell it to the guy at a barkeep hmm we're being seen by something oh i think it's just a helicopter i'm hoping it's just a helicopter Something is seeing us. Oh God. Okay. Well, nothing, nothing too bad. Pseudo dog. It just looks extra scary uh, in the dark. Well, with the night vision on, I actually think I prefer the flashlight in some ways. It doesn't, uh, maybe not. I don't know. But uh, what do we got here? We got a PP ish, pip ish. We've got some fuel, you absolute... Just... Oh my god, okay. And we got an ammunition guide, and I'm pretty sure I don't have this one. Um... So that's nice. We got a gunsmithing toolkit as well. This is actually a really good stash. A little bit concerned about what's happening over there. Nice, uh, lightning effect. Uh, but where you, we should like, I think we can pretty much move on from here um, Kill the stalker in garbage Stash in uh, dark valley Couple things to do kill the stalker apparently we've done that I have my sponge artifact. I'm sure I'm not sure why it's not telling me to hand that in but we're kind of out of stuff to do. I'm going to head back to the bar. And um, I'll hand in a couple more quests. But we're, we're kind of getting close to, like, I, I, might, I might consider, this is, this is a really dumb idea. I might consider um, selling our armor in favor, like, to, to make up the rest of the money that we need to buy an exoskeleton. I don't know. I'm just playing with ideas at this point. Like, I don't know what to do next outside of, like, the next major story mission. I don't want to do that this episode. I want to make that its own episode. Um, so I'm just trying to s figure out how best to, like, prepare how to, you know, what, what gear we need and what I want to acquire in order to uh, make things a little bit easier on ourselves. Um, you know, now that I know roughly, like, how how dangerous things can get in this game um i i want to i want to i want to lessen the load i want to make things as easy as i can and and have have a stuff you know have our, our have our eggs in a row or our ducks in a row whatever our, um have everything we need to take on the late stages of this of this game Um, well, let's see. A lot of things happening right here. I still haven't, they keep talking about Dutiers, and I don't know what a Dutier is. Well, let's, uh, let's head down to the bar. Talk to our lad. See where we're at with money. See what he's got in terms of uh, equipment. Hey, bud. Job is done. Kill the stalker. Do you... I thought I took the sponge mission. Do I, I have the sponge on me. Anomalous sample sponge. I'm not sure what I'm meant to do with it. I might just sell it. Um, any work you want done? Retrieve the encrypted documents in Yandar. Destroy the mutants in Rostock, south of the road to the army warehouse. Sure. Um, any work you want done? Retrieve the encrypted documents again. Cat thyroid gland. All right. So, all right. How, how, where are we? We're at $160,000. And I'm going to go ahead and sell this drug making kit. I don't know. I, I could I could take this to 
I'll sell the drug the 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 gunsmithing tools, but I could take the drug making kit to um, army warehouses and get a better price for them there. So we'll do that instead. But the first thing we're gonna need is a exoskeleton power supply. Um, it reduces power consumption by thirty percent. The main thing I'm concerned uh, about is how like how we're gonna have to maintain this exoskeleton because it's it's all very new to me. Um, let me see here. He more than certainly has one. We've got a nomad stalker suit. You don't have one? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. You put that at the very bottom. Bear stalker suit is not... So he actually doesn't have a exoskeleton suit right now. Which is um, unfortunate. He usually ha he has had them in the past. Dang, this, um, I don't know. I think what I might do is just buy a couple of these military batteries. Like, I'll buy three military batteries and this mil-spec exoskeleton power supply. Um, and I'm just gonna, like, you know, start acquiring things in, uh, for the purposes of, like, building towards the mech, the, the exoskeleton suit. Because I, you know... I understand I can't maybe do it all at once. This exo helm could be good. It doesn't have very good protection. Like it only has ballistic resistance. And even then it's not, it's actually just barely better than what we've got. That being said, we do have um, a few upgrades on our apocalypse helm. This thing is price 20,000. No, sorry, base price 33,000. And then this is base price 30,000. So I actually think that the um, Apocalypse Helm is better. That being said, I don't know if we, maybe we need this. Name due to its common appearance alongside exoskeleton armors. Is a thick steel helmet produced in the same Ukrainian factories as the exoskeleton armors? Um, tempted to grab this. I know that's weird, but yeah, let's grab it. And um, we're still going to have to... We'll, we'll work towards it. I kind of want to get a Woodlands exoskeleton because they seem to be... Oh, he, he does have an exoskeleton. He's got a Sunrise one. That being said, this one's not that great. I don't think that it would honestly be that worth it. Not every exoskeleton suit is, like, better than just having nothing. Um... Power level zero, equipped power supply, none. Like, we could buy this, but I actually think it would be better to hold out for uh, a different, like, a better one. I wouldn't, I'd like to get the Woodlands one. I think that they would be good. Like, we could buy this. I, I, I don't know. I, I'm a little bit divided right now on the exoskeleton. Because I, I know there's pros and cons. So I'm going to buy this for now. And uh, we'll just kind of move on. Um, destroy the mutants. I don't know if I want to do that right now, to be honest. Uh, I actually kind of want to go back to the mobile science lab just to see what he's got. But I'm, I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll go to Freedom Base instead. You know what I'd like to do, actually, is... Uh, I know I'm kind of flip-flopping a lot right now. Sorry about that. I'm going to talk to this guy. I'd like to buy some routes. Uh, radar to Pripyat. No, what I want actually is I want the route that goes from army warehouses to like dead city. Um, purchase info. Army warehouses to dead city. And actually, um, let's take army warehouses to red forest as well. So that's quite a lot of money blown. Um, we've got some more stuff that we need to take care of now. I need to stuff in my locker. Um, but the next thing we can do is we're going to go to army warehouses and I'll see if they have any armor. I won't have enough money for it. What I should really do is head, uh, like, I, again, I'm going back to farm, but I, what I should do is strip our, like, if I'm actually going to upgrade to a, an exoskeleton, I should strip our 
main protection of all of its upgrades. Also, these, um, I don't think these are necessarily worth it. I'm going to go ahead and, and disassemble these. They might be worth it. They could be good. I really don't, like, I've, I've, I mentioned this, but I don't really know how to gauge how good a weapon is in this game. It tells me, but at the same time, it, you know, I don't know. So apparently that mutant died of natural causes. Qu quotation marks, uh, natural causes. I gain more trust among duty soldiers in clear sky. That's nice. All right, so let's go ahead and head to army warehouses. Funny that, like, you know, I'm like, hey, you nice. I got uh, more reputation amongst duty. That's cool. Goes immediately to freedom to also help them out. Such is the life of a loner stalker, you know. You can be friends with everyone except maybe bandits and, and monolith. Um, and I guess military. I don't know what the deal is with military. What's their deal? Are they just like no one in the zone? Zone is government property. We're, we're <laughs> all of you out. No, stop taking that. That's not yours. Is that, is that military? Okay, so we do want to talk to this medic over here because he's apparently he needs a drug making toolkit. Uh, any work you want done? Yeah, drug to Okay, so thanks. Job is done. Here you go. Twenty thousand. There we go. I was I was gonna sell that for four thousand, and he's gonna he he bought it for me for twenty thousand. What a lad. And he'll buy my notebook. I don't know if I should sell that. I should also I didn't read this Grau small arms report. This is probably useful. Maybe I don't know. Hard to tell. It's not really, uh, it, it doesn't, it's not telling me that, that, uh, you know, I learned anything from it. Okay, um, so next up, I, this has been a lot of, like, maintenance, basics, you know, just, just main maintaining our inventory or equipment. Nothing too exciting in this episode. Um, I'll, I'll go ahead and promise exciting things for the next episode. Maybe we'll actually head to the dead city and see what's up up there. Um, I'd really like to, uh, you know, I, I, I want some better equipment. That's kind of what this is. This episode is about. Um, maintenance, basic maintenance. So what do you got? Any work you want done? Deliver the package to a guy in Rostock. We could do that. I could, uh, I don't know. I kind of, I'm kind of sick of delivering packages. Nah, yeah, I'm, I'm good actually. What, why don't you have anything? This is, oh, this is not the guy, <laughs> whoops. Any work you want done? You want basic tools, nah. Um, all right, so you don't have any stuff. I'll just sell some crap that I don't need. I should probably I'll, I'll unload these magazines and uh, sell them. Don't even know. Two shots. Taz 106 magazine. So this freaking Taz. I keep hearing about this Taz. Here's what I don't like about the Taz. I'm just going to go ahead and put my, you know, draw a line in the sand on this one. Is... Um, this freaking Taz requires a special magazine that only holds two rounds. What are you doing, Taz? What, what is 2070 Taz? Seems like a very finicky gun, you know? Like, I would have to go and get a bunch of these magazines and they would only have two, have two rounds each. Can you imagine this, like, very impractical, uh gun in real life how are you gonna just like carry these special magazines with two shots each? okay blam blam you know gotta search my pockets for the next one blam blam all right next one like come on 
that that's that's who who okayed this gun okay um we'll sell those magazines we are good and we move on to uh skinflint skinflint will probably have some good stuff for us Uh, are we going the right way? I, I thought Skin Flint was like north. Oh no, he's west. I don't know what gave me the impression he was north. So we'll see. We'll see what kind of armor he has. If he's got the woodland armor, I might. Um, I might sell a couple of things in order to buy it. Oh yeah. Yo, dude, that's a good hey, trick. That's a good trick. I like that trick you did just now. That was good. Um, any work you want done? You want boar chops? Salawa. Eight, eight Salawas. This guy's got the neediest quests of all time. Deliver locked case to skin flint. Location Jupiter. Forget that. All of these quests suck. Alright, do you have anything I can disassemble? No, not really. Okay, okay, that's the uh, first thing. And you don't have any armor? That's the whole reason I came to you in the first place. I don't know what gave me the impression that Skin Flint had armor. I guess I was just like straight up wrong about that. Okay, well, you know what? I think I'm going to end the episode there. Um, what I'm going to do in my in uh, my spare time here is I'm going to head to garbage, dump my stuff off. And... Um, I think in the next episode, we're going to go to the dead city. But I also... Like, I need to raise more funds now. That need, that much needs to happen. Um, so I'll have to do a bit more sandboxing. But I am going to go back to... I, I am going to go to the dead city. Like, that, that is going to happen. Um, I'm not sure which would be the best way to go there. It looks like I don't have a route from Yantar. No, I do. Okay, it's just not very obvious, but we could go to um, go to Dead City from Yantar. I was going to go there from um, Army Warehouse, so maybe we'll do that. How much, actually, you know what, how much inventory space? You know, we, we do have a bit of spare inventory space, so we could go there. I am lugging around this helmet, so that's a, like a bunch of space, and also this exoskeleton power supply, and these batteries. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to make a second trip to the farm. We'll head to the dead city in the next episode, and maybe we can actually complete an, another portion of the, the story. Um, but anyway, if you're enjoying this uh, series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.